we've been looking for probably five minutes. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> I don't two. Believe it. This is incredible. Yeah. We are right on the outskirts of the biggest city in Western Australia, and I have in my hand Which the fourth most toxic venomous snake in the world, the tiger snake. Mitch, this is an absolute beauty. Yeah, it's cute. Cute. <laughs> Only an Australian beautiful. could describe a tiger snake as cute. This is a snake that needs to be treated with an amazing amount of respect because drop for drop, its venom is far more toxic than any of the cobras, far more toxic than a king cobra, than a black mamba. You know, this has enough venom to bring down Mitch and I and probably the entire rest of the film crew as, as well. But as you can see, he has absolutely no interest in striking whatsoever. What's wonderful about this is that tiger snakes are in the same family as the cobras. They're called elapids. And you can actually see when you get close to it that it does have a hood. It'll spread its body sideways, making itself seem bigger than it actually is. And standing a good portion of its body up off the ground as well. Look at that. I mean, that is just a classic cobra shape, isn't it, Mitch? Yeah. I mean, for me, the reason that the tiger snake is, is such an amazing predator is just that it, it kills its prey so quickly, you mm. know? It, if you're feeding on a frog, the last thing you want is to bite it and for it to disappear off into these reeds and rushes yeah. and you never find it again. But if a tiger snake bites a frog, it's got minutes to live. Uh, what you can see here, um, the tiger snakes actually in, commonly have a reputation for actually charging people, but you can see where that misconception comes from. I mean, all this snake wants to do is going straight back into the bush. Well, at the moment, he's heading straight from between He'll my legs. He'll go right between your legs. Just let him go. OK, now this is the amount of confidence that I have in this snake and its behaviour. There's no way he was going to bite me. Just heading off into the grass. That is absolutely fantastic. Now, do you know what, Mitch? The thing that really gets me about this is the fact that we've seen people wandering through here, walking their dogs. Yep. The city's just there. There's people's houses right there. But nobody here ever gets bitten, do they? Um, in all the time that I've been here, wandering around, just like we're doing now, I'll actually have people pull over on their pushies or on their push bikes or stop while they're jogging in absolute disbelief. And they say, what are you doing? And I say, well, I'm just doing studying tiger snakes. They have no idea. Mm. And the reason is, is because this, I mean, they're just sitting along the edge in the vegetation and they're completely minding their own business. Yep. You know, they and don't... The second come... anyone gets too close... Yep, they disappear. They and you know what? He'll pick up speed. As soon as he knows he's safe, he'll pick up speed. And he'll shoot into that bush like nobody's business. Look at that. Wonderful. Boom, gone. Excellent. Oh, <laughs> I tell you what, I have never seen anywhere with so many venomous snakes this close to so many people.